MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's the finale, Game 7 of the American League Championship Series between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the New York Yankees. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And Danny, everything to play for here as we get ready for Game 7. Well, to me, this game is all about which team handles the pressure of Game 7 the best. The players know what's at stake. The fans know what's at stake. The winner goes to the World Series. The loser goes home. Every play really matters. So we'll see who can play the cleanest game and come up with some timely plays. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2018 New York Yankees. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He'll get us started in this one Maybe under the lights. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This one's down to third. And that's the first out. That is second. Second baseman. Ian Kinsman. First pitch coming. Here it is. He missed with a breaking ball. His career line against Garrett Cole. He sold him four hits in 20 at bats. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees at game time. Now the 1 0. There's a fastball that misses. Well, I think that's a great spot for that pitch in on the hands. It wasn't a strike, but if he can command the movement in there, he's going to be very effective in this one. Three and oh now. Cole, a California-born ball player. He was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. From the belt, the pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Kinsler, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Counts even to Trout, one and one. And there are the umpires working this one. Falling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. Over to first, Cole, oh, and the runner back in standing. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this will easily find the wall in front of the stands by the 314 sign. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Batting fourth, the left fielder, number six, Justin Upton. First pitch on its way to Upton. A ball and no strikes. A strike to even the count one and one. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back you're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this two and one the count here's the two one home a wave and a miss hey there's a ton of reasons I could give to you as to why this guy has been such a good pitcher in his career but I think this is the biggest one his ability to work out of nasty jams. Two guys in scoring position right here. Interested to see how he works out of this. 
standing in, Zach Pozart, his career line against Garrett Cole. He's got one hit and 17 at-bats. He's also gone down on strikes five times. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. Angel shortstop behind in the count at a ball and two strikes. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back pace with two. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Angel strand a couple, and now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. How do they go about staying alive in this one, D-Row? A huge key I see for this lineup is they're going to have to make this defense work. They're not afraid to kick a baseball around. If they can put the ball in play and make this defense beat themselves, they don't even have to worry about running into a three-run home. So striding in. DJ LeMay here. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pitch on the way. Cold strike at the letters, 0 and 1. Ball and one. a curveball that started low and broke lower, ball one. Popped him up. Kinsler has a play, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Got him second. Right fielder. Now with the play, Aaron Judge, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a breaking ball stays outside. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. The 1-1 one, one is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Yeah, Matty, you see the same pitch three times in a row, and you find yourself down one and two in the count. Your head starts to get on a swivel here. Is he coming back with it four times, or do I have to sit on something else? Back up the middle. Taken in by Kinsler. Throw in time at first for route number two. Batting third. And with two gone now, let's take a look at our up-to-the-minute playoff tree. And as you see there, the winner in this series will have most of the country rooting against them as they'll take on the Chicago Cubs in the World Series. First pitch on its way. And the changeup is way low that time. Two out, nobody on. Ball and a strike. Meyer, a right-hander that goes six foot nine inches tall. He was a first-round pick back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the seat. And it's the pitcher that makes the play to retire. Here's Luis Valbuena now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch coming. Here it is. A high fastball is in there. Nope, and that one stayed too low, apparently. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Well, he kind of struggled through that first inning, but ended up getting out of it. Now here in the second, you know he'd love to get this leadoff guy and get off on the right foot and maybe settle into this game a bit. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Luis Valbuena goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. No score here as we play inning number two. 
off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Two and two, the count to Cole Calhoun. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit hard back up the middle. Gregorius is there, and there are two away now. Here's Albert now. His career line against Garrett Cole. He's one for five. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's the first offering. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Swing and a miss for strike one. I know he got a swinging miss right there, but that was a hittable location to a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss in those spots. There's ball two now. Back up the middle. Kinsler's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now batting, Gary Sanchez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now the one and one pitch. His fastball taken high for a ball. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Crowd on the run. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting fifth, third baseman. The third baseman, Mike Mustakis, now. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. And the pitch. And right into the shift. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Here it comes. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. First delivery to him on the way. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. Pitch is popped up. Balbuena is there to make the catch. In the... And that'll bring up Carlos Perez. And he'll start out there half of the third. Top of the order to follow. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. He looks really strong here early in this game. And that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Behind 0-2 now.
swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away this is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches that was a three pitch strikeout and with the kind of stuff that he has it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys no balls and a strike to count one strike now from Cole and he watches a called strike at the knees no balls and two strikes Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half, but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Here's the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning form. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Third inning, no score to this point. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Angels strand one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Edwin Encarnacion now as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. First pitch of the at-bat. Takes a knee-high fastball. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0-2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for route number one. Settling in now, Luke Voigt. He's set. Here it comes. Now a drive out to the gap in right center. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he is in at second base with a one out double. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, delivers a hard hit line drive. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMay, here, as he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat. It's strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Oh and one here it comes looks at a curveball called for a strike I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there I don't care if it's middle of the plate that's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Q shot here out towards short and the throw to Pujols is in time for the second out here's big Aaron Judd 0 for 1 for him here in this one First pitch on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Hit hard to short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. One left for the Yankees. Here's Justin Upton now as we begin the top of the fourth. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss Upton. way behind the big fastball. Upton, or simply Jay Up, was selected in the first round back in 2005. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Hey. Tough slider down low for a strike. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. 
Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Zach Kozart will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing and one. And Kozart even in the count at one and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's throwing. He's attacking up, down, in and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. The pitcher is acting innocent, but I saw it in real time, and my first thought was he did that on purpose. These pitchers can paint the black inside and out, make the ball move up and down. So a lot of times when you see a guy get hit in that spot, there was some kind of message behind it. We'll see what that leads to the rest of this game. Paul Calhoun will stand in now as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Check swing grounder to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels leave one on to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The 0-1 delivery lifted the other way down the left field line. And the move is Upton. Makes the play one away. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch coming, here it is. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Comes set, and the 0-1. Hit sharply on the ground. Simmons has it. Throw to first, he'll get him. Already two away here in the home court. Now batting, Captain Gary Sanchez. Digging in, Gary Sanchez. He flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. Takes a good curveball at the knees. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. Here comes the 0-1. Chopped toward the second baseman. Low throw, but a nice play at the bag by Pujol. Saves an error and ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Leading off for the Angels, first baseman number five. First offering on its way. And they'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's one and oh. Knuckle curve is off the bottom edge. Two balls and no strikes. Two 
too tight with that one. 3-0. and oh. Ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run. Not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. And that'll bring up Carlos Perez, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Here comes the first pitch, and it's fouled away. Pujol gets his lead at first, nobody out. There goes the runner. It swung on and missed the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, Manny. The ball isn't carrying well tonight, and we haven't seen any home run, so sometimes you have to try for something else. Now with seeing a single could be all it takes to push a run across. Struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The batter, number two. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. From the stretch. Missed with a slider. No runs, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Two balls and a strike to count to Andrelton Simmons. High chopper towards first. Boyd fields it cleanly. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. The batter number three. So a man at third here with two gone, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. From the stretch. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. And, and this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Angels strand one. Halfway home, still no score. So striding forward now, Mike Mustakis, and maybe a little extra motivation for him here after being hit by a pitch in his first at bat. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. <laughs> hey, you think the game plan is to pitch this guy inside? They plunked him in the first at bat, and they're clearly coming right back in again. Swing hard liner to left center, and Mustakis is aboard. It's a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Here's Didi Gregorius. A curveball hit right back at him. On the second, but the throw is wide. Fortunately, the center fielder's in the right spot. Edwin Encarnacion now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Now this pitch sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. The 2-0. Back up the middle. 
And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Boy, Giro, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. Standing in now, Luke Boyd. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. The tag gets one. The tag, and he is out at second base. It's a double play. And Carnacion leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Yanks leave one. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First offering on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Yeah. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. And that's taken for strike one. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. A ball and a strike now. No runs, two hits, one error for the Angels so far. Hit to first. Boyd, right there. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Riding in, Zach Kozart. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. And that one just missed outside. Right here, he's looking to get himself into a good hitter's count so he can take a rip and maybe give his team the lead. He certainly has the power. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A little bouncer. That winds up foul for the second strike. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. Popped him up. Boyd in foul ground. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Fair to say, oh my goodness, uh, these folks are not headed for a career on. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMay here. Second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. The 1 0 home. Skied into straightaway right. Calhoun has a read on it. One away. Ready for another shot now. Aaron Judge. No hits to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And right into the shift. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. 
Digging in, Brad Gardner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground to second. And a diving effort there from Kinsler, but it'll go for not a base hit. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. And he looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here. Having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Case in point right there, Matty. We're seeing a trend, the north and south. A lot of pitchers working that elevated fastball and then breaking stuff off in the dirt. We used to see east-west. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do Here's Luis Valbuena now. And, guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another 0-2. No ball and two strikes. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Swing and a little tapper. And he chased it in the dirt. Sanchez has it. The throw to first is in time, one down. Coming to the plate now, Cole Calhoun, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. One and one to count. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. The count now at 2 and 1. One out, nobody on. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's three and one now. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 to three ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Here comes the first pitch. Now Pujols smacks one to left. Lots of carry on this ball. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two-thirds. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Angels go down one, two, three, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. So coming to the plate, Gary Sanchez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. He's set and the pitch, and a breaking ball backs him out of the way. 1 and 0 oh the count. Now here's the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Kinsler is there for it. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. How about it? Third baseman. One gun here in the Yankee seventh. And standing in the left handed hitting third baseman, Mike Mustakas. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strike. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. 
Even Stand one up. and one count to Mustakis. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. One ball, Needed a strikes. sand wedge for that one. Swung on and missed. Popped him up. Kinsler is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Riding in once again, Didi Gregorius. 0 for 2 for him to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And as Yankees fans hear on television quite frequently, see ya. shot here to straight away right field his second home run of the series as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead you can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game but up until this pitch which was a big mistake he was throwing a gem now he looks up at the scoreboard and he's trailing that's demoralizing but he's got to forget about it quickly now Mike Sosha is up out of the Angel dugout on his way to the mound. Number 46, Into the box, Edwin Encarnacion. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. A 1 0 delivery. Hit the other way out toward right field. On the move is Calhoun. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now 1 0 New York. Adam Ottavino has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. Stepping up now, Carlos Perez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. In there for strike one. You like the modern style of baseball. Here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. A pause and the 0-2. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. And he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. 0 and 1 the count. Bases are empty, one man out. Behind 0 and 2 now. Count remains at 0 and 2. He strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Here's the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. One and oh, the count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Kinsler ahead and a two and oh count. Good sharp slider there, and he couldn't catch up to it. Two and one now. Two one. Here it is. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Mm -hmm. 
never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Once again, a 3-2. Fouled off. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Oh, look at that stop. And a super play to gun his man down as the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. They're down 1-0. Ready. Here's the first offering. Hit sharply toward the right side. Calhoun moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. And now we see a right hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. The 0 1 on its way. Hard hit ball to second. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. You can't teach that, Maddie. The ability to, for a right handed hitter to shoot a ball right through the 3 hitter. 4 hole, unmatched. Here's big Aaron Judd. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. Into the second deck and gone. <laughs> Arise Aaron Judge. A two-run shot. His fourth long ball of this series as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. Majestic home run, and we'll look at it again with show track. The velocity off the bat came in at 117 miles an hour, so that's one of the hardest hit home runs you'll see all year long. Amazing stuff. Center fielder number 11, Rex. Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the 0-1. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Trout has a read on it. Two gone. Now back. Giancarlo Stanton now. First pitch of the at bat. High and deep to center field. Back goes Trout at the track. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. home run here off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. His first homer so far in the series. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Well, he turns on this thing and drives it out, extending the lead here to four in the bottom of the eighth. I wouldn't be surprised if that keeps the closer in the bullpen for now. No need to bring him in a non-save situation. Let him relax unless something happens at the top of the ninth that warrants getting him up. Matt Shoemaker enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. Upton going back, and it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. Solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. 
his fifth so far in this series. And that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. The long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Matty D, Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. Yeah, you are. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well. To deep right field. Gone! You gotta be kidding me. Back to back to back home run. A solo shot that time for Mike Mustakis. The second home run of the series as they pile on. It's now six to nothing. Well, this is amazing right here. Three home runs in a row. I've actually been a part of a similar situation sandwiched in between Raphael Fercal and Gary Sheffield back in the early 2000s. What a moment. All the boys are going nuts. For three guys to do it, it's pretty special. Here's Didi Gregorius. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. High in the air out to center field. Trout is camped under this one, and he will put it away to retire the side. So this once slim lead is slim no longer as five runs come across to score to help build a substantial advantage. Eight innings are complete. We're on to the ninth in game seven. It's the Yankees six and the Angels nothing. Ah, the beautiful views of Manhattan at night. Welcome back to this MLB Network broadcast from right here in the Big Apple. Dylan Batensis comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Dylan Batensis. Leading off for the Angels, center fielder. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Lays off 1-0. One and one pitch. Oh. Missed with a breaking ball. Count is two and one. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Full count. Three balls and two strikes to the Angels center fielder. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Here's Justin Upton now. Previous history against Dellen Batansis. He's hitless in three at bats. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch that time, and it's quickly 0 and 2 now. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Heading after it is Judge. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now at the plate, Zach Kozart. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Two out, nobody on. Taking called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. A 
crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. He struck him out, and that'll do it as they've won this series, so they'll move on. Well, congratulations to them as they're now the American League champs. They're going to celebrate tonight, and then they're going to have to refocus for a run at the ultimate prize, the World Series trophy. Can't wait. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, he really put together a commanding pitching performance out there. Ended up tallying 12 strikeouts, and more importantly, he gave his team a great chance to earn the victory. For my partners, Dan Plezak, Mark DeRosa, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been the American League Championship Series.